This is Zentech 226, uh, Cisco's CCNA voice. This is Chapter 4, Getting Familiar with CME Administration, and I'm Professor Dwight Hughes. I want you to talk for a moment about the pre-chapter quizzes that are included in your textbook for this course. It's a great idea to try to do those pre-chapter quizzes either before the chapter or afterwards. I've picked out just the first two questions. There's usually five to ten questions that kind of help you focus on what you're reading. It's kind of uh, put it here because this is an especially small chapter, so I had a little bit of extra time. This question, for instance, which of the following represent valid command line interfaces that you can use to manage a CME router? Choose three. Hopefully, you would have correctly chosen all but Cisco ASDM. ASDM is a Java-based GUI that doesn't even work with a router, it works on Cisco security appliances like the PICS and the ASA. Another one, which of the following configuration modes represents the area where you can apply core CME configurations that affect the entire telephony system? Answer B, telephony service configuration mode. It's a sub-mode of the global configuration mode. You would type configure terminal and then you would type telephony dash service and that would take you to the sub mode where you can enter your telephone commands. You would be learning to do that in the labs for this chapter so don't feel bad if you didn't get that one. Let's talk about managing the call manager express using the command line interface. You would use the command line interface for a variety of reasons. For one it's the default way to configure the call manager express. The full call manager runs on a server and must be configured through a GUI, but Call Manager Express is a lighter, more limited version of a full call manager intended to run on a router, which runs iOS, which is a command line interface. There are a couple GUIs, and we'll look at them, available for Call Manager Express. None of them uh, will allow you to fully configure it. But how do you get to a command line interface? You could go through a console port or you could in-band Telnet or SSH. And I added this one, it's not covered in your book. You could use the aux port. Fairly obsolete, but the aux port uh, does work with the modem. And even if you don't like to configure things from the command line, it is the predominant way you are likely to troubleshoot and your book will call it out for that that no matter how you configure Call Manager Express, you will need to be able to command line into Call Manager Express to troubleshoot your phone network. If you wanted to use a GUI, the first thing to know is that the interfaces, the GUI interfaces are limited in scope and function. You cannot use the GUI to fully administer a Cisco Call Manager Express. That must be done from the command line. However, the GUI and there's two of them, are intended to allow a secondary, less capable administrator to assist you with managing the voice network. So you could have an administrator that knows nothing about the Cisco command line environment, and using a web-based or Java-based GUI product, they could get into your router and configure limited functionality on your network, such as adding phones, adding users, some of the basic setup and administration tasks. There is an integrated web interface that's very limited that comes with Call Manager Express. Additionally, you could use the Cisco Configuration Professional, which provides a much richer uh, GUI-based configuration tool. You can actually configure an entire router, uh, not just the voice, but you could configure security and uh, basic policies. If you wanted to use CCP, uh, I wanted you to know about a definition, this is highlighted in the chapter, is what a community is. CCP uses communities, and a community is just a group of devices that you want to manage. So the first thing that CCP will ask you is to um, build a community. For a device to be managed by CCP, it has to have these four prerequisite things configured from the command line. So before you can use this GUI, you must go to the command line on the device and establish a reachable IP address that's reachable from the PC where you're going to run the CCP software to the device you're managing. 
you have to set the device up with a level 15, privileged level 15 username and password, and you have to turn on the HTTP or if you prefer HTTPS services. Additionally, you have to configure Telnet or SSH access. Some options when you're using CCP to configure Call Manager Express, you can choose three different ways that Call Manager Express is utilized in a voice network. The first is to have a full Call Manager Express configuration where the Call Manager Express on the router is handling all of the voice aspects for that network. This is most appropriate for a small business where the only call manager is the router. In a larger company, you may have a server-based call manager and you may use the router only as a voice gateway. A voice gateway essentially is only handling conversions from analog to digital using the PVDM chips and converting analog signal into digital packetized signal and vice versa. You could, uh, as a third option, use your router with Call Manager Express as a backup to a full call manager and we call this survivable remote telephony or SRST. This allows the router to be configured to work as a more limited but capable call manager in the event that the primary call manager should become un unavailable. Uh, the fourth option in the book isn't really an option, uh, but it is for CCP. You could avoid configuring voice options entirely. As I mentioned on the last slide, CCP, Cisco Configuration Professional, could be used to configure other router aspects and not voice. So that's why it's listed. You don't have to configure voice with CCP. You can use CCP to configure uh, VPNs and firewalls and basic router settings. Summary for this very short chapter was to introduce you to the ways you can interact with Call Manager Express on the router, the various command line interface uh, methods, the various GUIs, uh, talked about the prerequisite requirements for using CCP, and the options within CCP for configuring a Call Manager environment.